Hey folks, uh, I've taken some time to cool down before making this video. Uh, it's now Saturday morning, but on Wednesday night, August 22nd, I was arrested for peddling in Waikiki. A lot of you guys know me as the telescope guy. I set up a telescope in Waikiki and um, I let people look through the telescope. Uh, lately I've been showing Saturn with its rings. And then I have uh, photographs on the side. I had a lot of people request that the pictures that I was displaying on the laptop there for a while that I, I printed those and make those available and so they were available uh, by donation as well and so um, supposedly what happened was um, someone came and uh, bought one of my pictures and so there was a transaction of a, of a twenty dollar bill uh, the police came with a photocopy of a twenty dollar bill uh, asked me to empty my pockets uh, of my money. They tried to match up the money uh, with the photocopy. They did not find a match, but the officer said, I'm going to go ahead and accept the arrest anyway. So they had me take apart my telescope, pack up all of my equipment, put me in handcuffs, took me to jail. I was in a jail cell with three other guys until 11.30 p.m. when I was finally bailed out by a friend. Bail was set at $200. So uh, I have on the screen here the, uh, you can look this up, uh, it's under the Honolulu re uh, Revised Ordinances, Revised Ordinances of Honolulu. Uh, so it's 29, Chapter 29, Article 6, uh, Peddling License. So basically it's uh, twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents for a peddling license, and so then it's against the law to pedal without this license. However, uh, there's a list of thirteen places where they will not issue a license for. Number seven is all of Waikiki, from the entrance of the Alawai Canal, along the Alawai all the way to Kapahulu, back to the beach, and back to the entrance of the Alawai Canal. So all of Waikiki they will not issue a peddling license as, as, as long as as well as all of these other places Poly Highway, Diamond Head Road, Tantalus Drive so um, basically all of the street vendors and street performers in Waikiki um, if you read these ordinances um, they're all according to this breaking the law one way or another uh, despite you know the first amendment and your uh, right to free speech especially with creative art um, so it seems that there's been a, a really big oh and let me get to this too the what, what they're supposed to do um, for the violation uh, 29-6.4 violation summons or citation so first offense is a fine of a hundred dollars Second offense is 250. Um, so basically, it says an authorized police officer shall issue an alleged violator a summons or citation in accordance with Article 9. And then the part that doesn't make sense, semicolon, provided that the police officer may physically arrest an alleged violator in lieu of issuing a summons or citation. Uh, that grammatically doesn't make sense. It almost seems like there's a word missing, like like a not. Uh, so I don't understand. Pr provided that the police officer may physically arrest an allege an, an alleged violator in lieu of issuing a summons or citation. There's something missing in in there grammatically. But basically, e even the people that have gone before the judge. Uh, has, has told me that the judge says that, that this is not an arrestable offense. It's a minor misdemeanor, the fine of $100. But yet they're still arresting, er, arresting everyone. And locking my, in my case, uh, my equipment is locked in evidence until my arraignment, which is almost a month out, at which time I'll plead not guilty and it'll go to trial. So I'll be without my equipment for months. Um, but anyway, the crackdown in Waikiki seems to be due to what they talk about in this article here from January 1st, 2012 from Civil Beat. Police business 
deal raises ethical questions. So basically the Waikiki Business Improvement District Association and from another article that I read, it's every six months uh, that they're giving a donation, which we're not allowed to accept in Waikiki because that's peddling. Um, but HPD is accepting a donation from the Waikiki Business Improvement District Association of $75,000 every six months to carry out specific tasks in Waikiki. Um, which it seems right now one of those tasks is to uh, get rid of the street performers. So who is the Waikiki Business Improvement District Association? Well here's the directors. Um, I'll read not their names but where they work. Uh, Luxury Row, Royal Hawaiian Center, Aston Waikiki, Honolulu Cookie Company, Bank of Hawaii, Kiyoyo Management, which is the Sheraton Waikiki, the Moana Hotel, the Royal Hawaiian, and the Princess Kailani. ABC Stores, Outrigger, HTH Corporation, Queen Emma Land Company, Waikiki Beach Marriott, Sheraton Princess Kailani, Waikiki Shopping Plaza and Business Plaza, Halikalani Hotel, DFS, the Duty Free Shopping Gallery in Waikiki, Hyatt Regency, Hilton Hawaiian Village, Crazy Shirts, and unofficial members are from the city and county of Honolulu of, of the managing director, Honolulu City Council, city and county of Honolulu Department of Budget and Fiscal Services, uh, city and county of Honolulu Department of Facility Maintenance, uh, Major Ron Bode of the Honolulu Police Department and Robert Finley of the Waikiki Neighborhood Board. So uh, to become a member, here's the. If you want to, if you want to become a member, there's three types of membership, but you you, you basically have to own one of the properties in Waikiki. Uh, so Class A is fee simple owners and ground leases of commercial non-residential properties located within the Waikiki Business Improvement District. Class B is tenants leasing commercial space within Waikiki and Class C is fee simple owners and ground leases of property located within the Waikiki Business Improvement District. So I, I've, I walked Waikiki last night and spoke to many people who have been arrested just in the time that I was walking uh, up Kalakaua uh, two, two different street vendors got arrested that night and I'm hearing the stories and, and, and uh, the police are really pulling dirty tricks in order to arrest these people it used to be that they would just get to tr get you, uh, try to trick you into naming a price and they would arrest you for that and if they couldn't get you for that, then they'd try to get you to make change. So I guess they could call it a transaction and try to arrest you for that. And now they're just pulling dirty tricks. I mean, in some cases, people have said, you know, no charge, just go ahead and take it. And they, they like, insist on, on giving their marked $20 bill or their marked $10 bill um, so that they can come back and use that as evidence for an arrest. So it seems that they're trying to get rid of the street performers and street vendors. Uh, I think the businesses in Waikiki think that that's going to help them. But I believe that it's the carnival atmosphere in Waikiki that keeps people walking up and down the streets. Um, it seems like the businesses want every penny. They don't want any of the free market uh, going on in front of them without them getting, getting a piece of it. But I believe that if, if the street performers were gone, you would lose that carnival atmosphere in Waikiki and people would walk up and down see the high-end shops and then go back to their hotels so you know and then there's first first amendment issues as well you know it's a public sidewalk freedom of expression uh, expressive arts and and those types of things so 
I, I don't know what to say. It seems like they're really trying to make it go away, but let's see what happens.